and uh, the, uh, the longer period time from uh, 2006 to uh, 2013, the, the compounding average growth rate would be uh, 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 32.8%, which is quite dramatic. That's uh, the first page I the uh, Then uh, the, the audience stock, that, that's the flow, that's stock. Stock is uh, reached the uh, dollar 660 uh, billion, ranking 11 uh, worldwide. And of the last the year before, uh, Chinese investors have uh, established uh, uh, 25,000 enterprises overseas in uh, over 184 uh, countries or regions. ODI accounts for only for 10% of China's total overseas assets as a different content. In terms of the stock, a large degree smaller uh, population compared with uh, China's huge foreign reserve assets. Uh, ODI brings up by uh, industry. Uh, the, the ranks from uh, the giving services, uh, financial, uh, wholesale, and retail, manufacturing, which account for more than 80% uh, of, uh, of the total uh, of bank. Uh, Bring down by countries, uh, we forget about those uh, Chim Island, uh, BVI, and uh, some from the United States, Australia, Singapore, United Kingdom, uh, those countries. Uh, then uh, uh, the, 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 the main uh, investment bodies uh, in the financial industry, uh, most of them are, are state-owned banks uh, or state-based major controlling share or large share. In the uh, non-financial sectors, uh, about half to half. But last year, or year uh, before last year, the uh, uh, private sector surpass uh, SOEs become a major one. I, I believe that's going to be the future for next decade. Uh, the, uh, there's something about the, the, the ODI is with USA, with this country. Uh, China's uh, uh, ODI in the United States has been growing rapidly during the recent years, according to the Chinese official data. China had uh, invested US dollars 3.87 billion in the United States in uh, uh, 2013, surpassed the US 2.82 billion. Uh, so there is more FDI from China to US than from US to China in the year of uh, 2013. At the end of uh, 2013, China's ODI stock, in terms of stock, US much bigger than China. Uh, uh, the Chinese when uh, has uh, ODI to the United States uh, is amount to uh, 21 billion uh, as, as a total stock. I may stop about something about 300 billion. Let uh, me continue. They are, in terms of the China's ODI stock in the US, the top four, top, top five sectors are financial industry, manufacturing, mining, wholesale and retail, and real estate. Uh, that's uh, some general pictures, uh, facts and figures. Uh, shows the uh, emerging uh, uh, of the ODI of China, and shows the structure, the composition, uh, the flow, and the stocks. Uh, some of observations. <laughs> Uh, first of all, the ODI in the uh, manufacturing sectors or industries is not very active in China. Uh, it, it, it's it's, the, it's the, uh, so the, 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 as a uh, war factory or a big country for manufacturing, uh, it's, it's not uh, compared to that. Uh, uh, really the fact in Chinese uh, industrial power, the problem of the uh, could be uh, uh, those uh, 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 
time assuming the, uh, the, the low end of uh, value chain. Uh, so now, uh, like the, the, the true uh, international uh, uh, transportation uh, companies can uh, shift in their value, value chain uh, vertically and horizontally. Currently, there are a few large Chinese uh, multinational companies that can control the upper end of the value chain and form the vertical integration, as I explained before. Uh, is, is another observation is Chinese ODI stock in money is relatively high, about 20 percent, including a strong motivation in seeking uh, natural resources overseas. However, some of them, maybe most of them, uh, maybe uh, not in the right uh, cycle, right time. So they are suffering some problem now because the, the low price of commodities. Uh, at the same time, China's ODI uh, in the financial sector side is also relatively high. Uh, it takes about 18%. But mainly concentrated in banking sector rather than in the security issue, insurance and other financial uh, investment in the security sector, insurance is uh, uh, service industry, small and uh, scattered uh, uh, is more uh, in size. Uh, but the investment in the utilities sector, say uh, transportation, telecommunication, and the logistic infrastructure. Uh, have already started to attract investment. Uh, currently, it's uh, not a big portion, but it has a big potential. Investment in technology is high tech in particular, regardless of the South China hardware, uh, now reached the significant scale. Yes, that's our uh, Let's talk about one bad and the one no initiative. The Xi Jinping is uh, the strategy or initiative strategy, one path and one road. Uh, the 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 uh, the the this is this is being called is a uh, uh, new Silk Road economic belt and the maritime Silk Road, which will connect China with the Central Asia, Europe, and South Asia. <coughs> Uh, China promoted the, uh, to establish of the uh, Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank Bank and the Bridge Bank targeting infrastructure investment along the one belt, one road and encouraging more Chinese enterprises to participate. The one belt, one road initiative is a grand overseas strategy for the Next decade for Chinese company. Uh, this map shows what we mean by uh, one belt and one road. Uh, it's covering. Uh, current uh, direct investment in this region is, uh, is quite small. Uh, account for 12 billion. Uh, in uh, 2013, uh, account for 11.7 of total investment. Uh, by the end of the uh, year before, uh, the direct investment stock was uh, uh, 76 billion, uh, accounting only for 11 percent. However, ODI to uh, uh, related countries has been growing. Uh, Remarkably, since uh, 20, uh, 2011, if you look at the curve. Uh, the, the strategy is aimed mainly at the increasing the need of the uh, regency structure. According the, to the uh, Asia Development Bank, there is a huge infrastructure gap or shortage in this area. 
Initial fund for the lab belt one road will be mainly backed by China's foreign exchange reserves uh, and be implemented via Asia Infrastructure Investment Fund, BRICS Bank, loans, and other development financing. Under this initiative, China's overseas investment is expected to grow rapidly in the coming years. The goals, first of all, to uh, provide funding, uh, technical and uh, management support for infrastructure projects in this region. Second, to digest China's uh, domestic excessive capacity and boost China's infrastructure and equipment export. Third, to encourage Chinese uh, multinationals to go abroad and to participate in the international competition. The last one, to promote regional economic cooperation and development. Some issues and risks. First one is the, the, the role of government and enterprise. Uh, the government should speed up the negotiation on regional free trade agreement or bilateral investment protection agreement, promote uh, trade and investment facilities and uh, provide services for ODI of Chinese enterprise. Also, the government should uh, probably uh, handle potential geographical issues, creating a better environment for enterprise to play. The uh, government should job uh, interventions in business decisions, enterprise should focus on uh, commercial interests instead of uh, un undertaking uh, political and foreign affairs mission. Actually, that's a little bit, it's a problem. Uh, some com company claims they represent in the country to, to secure some resources or to try to uh, obtain some high tech. And, and, and the, 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 there is no de clear distribution between the, the company got the mission from government or purely commercial c companies. So it confuse the market. But I think the, you want to uh, have a good marriage, you must clarify your, your, your function and your role. Uh, public commercial uh, attribution Enterprise with a function to provide public goods may have preferential loans and related policy support from government. Commercial enterprise should be aimed at profit maximization and profit making and must assume some responsibilities for its own profit and losses. So the the nature or the functions of the two kind of enterprise should uh, distinguish. That's also part of the PPT as uh, uh, conditions. Uh, improving the uh, structure of uh, China's ODI, uh, the manufacturing portion should be increased, uh, and the infrastructure or the utility should be increased, and the value chain, uh, the position on the value chain. It should be an uh, upgrade. Uh, some legal uh, uh, issues, a lot of them, I just select some of them. Uh, uh, Chinese companies often lack experience. Uh, just Lu Feng said, we are in the transition from rule by law, rule of rule by people, rule of law. So we should fully understand or aware the importance of. Uh, the law, and there are lots of laws. In particular, Chinese enterprise should uh, pay attention to the legality uh, of certain operations such as anti bribery law, money laundering law, and carefully view its country targeted by various countries, sections, and banks.
Uh, there are some uh, geopolitical uh, risks, including uh, risks, uh, uh, risks associated with politics, war, nationalization, breaches of uh, contract, etc. The, 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 the victim recovers of one bad one, I know. Most of the countries is, uh, is, uh, is uh, pretty high with political risks and other risks. Many activities are blocked by host countries government under the national security administration, including this one. Uh, for the sentiment of uh, China's uh, threat, as a barrier to China's going out a policy, especially for large SOEs. There are social, cultural, and religious, uh, religious religious conflicts uh, as a basically non-religious country. Chinese people uh, sometimes may lack understanding and respect for host countries' uh, cultural and uh, religious customers. A labor issue. There is no truly independent uh, trade union in China. Chinese emphasize usually lack of experience to deal with their labor uh, rights issue. Cultural integration. Uh, U.S. business school, uh, uh, India's Tata group acquisition of uh, uh, land, as well as uh, China's acquisition of uh, Volvo, have been used as uh, case studies to uh, identify the differences in cultural integration, plus development and uh, uh, human resources after merge. While Land Rover had significant success, the Volvo acquisition were not definitely a uh, failure, has been uh, comparatively uh, and uh, uh, well -being. Some of the China overseas acquisition have often ended with failed failure such as TCL's acquisition of uh, Thomas TV business and uh, Akatel mobile phone. Uh, uh, acquisition of the Singapore Motor uh, and Gingham's acquisition of uh, 40 Pinans. The issue of cultural clash described to be a high uh, lighting and uh, discussed in depth. <coughs> the pace of tuition, pace of cost in three years, so we must draw the license from that. Outlook. China has already become a major uh, economic power in terms of GDP, fur trade, uh, input and export, FDI, uh, fur reserves, uh, manufacturing. So we expect the rapid growth, which is much lagging behind, behind I mean, the outbound investment compared with other uh, areas. So we expect a rapid growth of Chinese outbound transport cultural initiatives, activities in, this, in the coming decades. The one belt and one road initiative can be seen as a concrete going abroad plan and should lead to a, a period of rapid expansion of China's overseas direct investment in this in the region. Possible developments. In the process of China's uh, capital account liberalization, and due to the uh, slash the global economy, asset price may be uh, undervalued, which may apply China's uh, companies with uh, buying opportunity. 
First of all, intention of China's is the firm will help digest excess domestic capacity and accelerating the upgrading and adjustment of uh, industrial structure, encouraging effective use of foreign exchange reserves, and uh, exert the positive impact on global and regional job political politics. We expect the shares of overseas investment in manufacturing and infrastructure to rise significantly. While China's ODI in the financial sector will maintain in uh, this uh, right growth uh, momentum. Uh, ODI flow could uh, suppose this is a surpass uh, 350 billion by 2025. Uh, Assuming the trend uh, continuing in the uh, upcoming years, uh, factoring in the government of over the uh, next decade, assuming 50% annual flow growth before 2020 and 8 to 10% growth in, from 2021 to 2025. The two phases, but the last six years was 38% uh, compounded growth rate, average growth rate. So the, uh, the possible conclusion will be uh, China's outbound direct investment flow may reach a level of uh, 350 to uh, 500 billion per year by 2025. This will be second in the world only after the United States. In terms of stock, China will accumulate over uh, 3 trillion US dollars overseas. Year, while world ranking China's uh, ODI stock within the uh, top 5, currently is the uh, top, is the uh, US Oh, thank you.